Hi, it's the Lipstick Gal. Thank you so much for watching today. I wanted to play, I haven't actually used it yet, with the palette that I made using singles in my collection that were similar to the Gilded Flora eyeshadow palette from Milani. I have been trying to curb my spending. I'm just gonna to be totally honest. I feel like there have been so many times that I've purchased something because I've been curious about it or I thought it might make a great video, but in the end, it just kind of sits and collects dust in my collection. And I thought, how much better would it be to get that instant gratification of, oh, those colors look fun, ooh, that looks interesting, and find stuff in my collection already, especially in eyeshadows, that would work well. So that's what I did. If you wanna see the video where I create this, I have the whole thing swatched, I will leave it for you here, as well as the description box down below. I'm just gonna grab some eyeshadow brushes and start, and I'm trying to think, where do I wanna start? Okay. Um, I'm going to start with this shade right here. This is Sorbet from Makeup Geek. It's a really light, soft pink, and I'll tell you, I have been excited about the idea of color, like pastel-y type colors for spring. And so the yellows and the lavenders in here are super exciting to me. And I feel like this is a really soft. I think that this might have been a little bit more pigmented and easier to blend when I first got it, but she's old. Remember, uh, was it two years ago that Makeup Geek reformulated into the square pans? It was one of the brown pans. I've had this in my collection for a while. If you're curious as to what exact shades are in here, if you click the link to the video where I make this palette, I will have all of the brands and the shade names listed in there. But I think for me, just the idea of being able to play with a new shade combo, take inspiration from what's out there without having to go out and buy it. Even though I've heard really good reviews about this Gilded Flora collection, I just don't frequently see myself reaching for shades like this. I'm gonna grab a little bit of this also on a brush and just lightly add it to my lower lash line. It's really gonna be super subtle, but I kinda wanna get a base going here for this. I would love to know if you've ever been excited or intrigued by a new makeup release and you're like, you know what? I've got something in my collection that's so similar to that, so I'm not gonna buy it, I'm just gonna, um, I would love to know whether it was a you know, concealer, a lipstick, a blush. I feel like there are so many times that when I'm going through my collection, I'm like, Oh my goodness, how many shades of red lipstick do I have that are almost indistinguishable? <laughs> a ton! Red's a favorite shade for me when it comes to lip products. How many neutral brown eyeshadow palettes do I have? I haven't counted, I'm almost afraid to. But I thought instead of um, just running out and buying this, and I know it's not expensive, the Gilded Flora from Milani, and I haven't tried a Milani eyeshadow in forever. I thought it might just be fun to you know, grab what I have, rearrange it. I've got a ton of magnetic palettes. There's no reason not to. I'm gonna go in with this light kind of tan shade here. I'm gonna use this a little bit in the crease. I want I don't want a really heavy look today, a slightly soft but darker than what I got going on at the moment. Just a little hint, because I wanna use both the lavender and the yellow. I don't know if that's a good idea, but we're gonna see. I did not have a yellow shade that was similar to what was in the Gilded Flora. So I'm just gonna tap back and forth between both of these. These are singles from the Busy Art Grande Pro and I'm gonna start this just in the inside, like part of my eyelid. I wanna grab this shade here. This is a Sydney Gray shade. This is from the Tiny Marvels palette and this is the shade Jewel Bee. I'm just gonna pat this like on the rest of the lid. I'm liking the way this is turning out, kind of purpley yellow with a little bit of a tan pink color coming through. All right, what I really wanna do is throw on some metallics. So this is what I'm gonna tap over the purple. This is a Sydney Grace shade that's called Winter Garden. And I'm gonna use this metallic gold here. Uh, I think this is one of the ones from the Vizier Bullion palette. And I'm just gonna go right over the top of the yellow with this, kind of meet it up with that Winter Garden shade. 
I'm gonna grab this shade right here. This is Sydney Grace's Lucky Peach. And I'm gonna put just a little bit of this right along the lower lash line for a little kind of pinky on the lower lash line. I'm gonna take this darkest brown. This is another Sydney Gray shade called Keep Smiling. And I'm gonna use the smallest amount of this just right on the outside corner. I'm gonna blend it in a minute. I, I wanna get it where I want it. And then I'm gonna knock the rest of it off and softly blend it into that peach pinky shade. I'm gonna throw in a little bit of the M Cosmetics Illustrative Liner and some Lancome Mister Big. I'll be right back. I also threw on some lip liner and lipstick. I will make sure and list everything in the description box down below. But I'll tell you, when I put this together, I had fun putting it together, but I, I wasn't sure it was all gonna work together because these are not exact duplicates of what's in that Milani palette. They're just the closest that I had that looked like they might work according to the image that I saw online. I feel like I used about half the palette. I used the top four starting here going this way. I also use these guys here. I pulled in this shade. So there's probably still two, four, six shades, six of shades that I haven't used, maybe seven shades. Um, and this is the one that intimidates me the most, but I am I need to try it all. I like the way this turned out. I like this kind of soft, ethereal, watercolor, pastel, almost Easter sort of vibe I have going on in the eyes. It's color, but it's not too much. And I'm just gonna tell you, I'm always intimidated by really bright, bold colors. Like if it was a really intense purple or a really intense yellow, I feel like I have, you know, like a soft pink, um, a neutral brown, which is my comfort zone, and then some other pastel colors in my lid, and it makes it feel fun and spring-like without pushing me too far outside my comfort zone. I definitely want to continue playing with this palette I created, but I would love to know, do you have the Milani Gilded Flora? I would love to know what combos you're using out of that palette, if you have it, or if you've ever decided, you know what, I like the way that looks, I think I might have something similar at home, and you create a similar look with what you already have. It doesn't have to be eyeshadow, it could be blush, it could be lipstick, it could be a certain type of formula that looks intriguing to you, and you're like, but hmm, I think I might have something close by in my own collection. Let me know in the comments down below. Thank you so, so much for watching today. Have a fantastic day, and I'll see you again soon.